and welcome back to my channel it's bonnie and for those of you new here welcome and today we are talking about how to take public transportation between seattle airport smith cove's terminal 91 it's inexpensive here are some must know transportation tips so let's get started i deliver helpful cruise tips and inspiration for your future cruise travels we left very early in the morning and had plenty of time to figure out the transportation. We are in Seattle and that is the cruise charter buses, the train to Seattle. It's up on Skybridge 4. But first we have to have a cup of coffee. It's 7 a.m. We have about four hours to go. You will find the Skybridge at any part of the baggage claim area. You notice it's located level four, the link light rail. Just follow the signs down in baggage claim everything is clearly marked sky bridge is up that way and whatever entrance you enter either it's four five six seven one two three whichever number it all leads to the same place but the link rail is to the left so this inexpensive trip starts off with a link rail ride you could, would follow the signs for that the link rail costs three dollars per person and you want to get off at University Street Station. Walk through the parking lot and you continue straight. As you can see, this big sign is around everywhere. The end of the hallway is the Link Rail Station. Here you can purchase your ticket with cash or credit card. There are people, helpers at the station to help you with the machines. We got our tickets. And it is one way to University Street. It was $3 a person. And you can use a credit card or cash in the machine. Pretty self explanatory. My check in time changed from 11 to 12. I don't know why. So I'm stalling for time because they don't want you to check in early. So we're taking this train, I should say, to kill some time. So actually, it went fast, and so we're on our way. And it's very empty. We're running right on schedule. It's pretty a seamless process. The best storage area for your luggage on the link rail is a bike area that is open for wheelchairs and bikes. And there's a little confusion. I'm, a lot of people are wearing masks, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not, so I just put one on just in case. Yeah. Once at University Street Station, you will make a right out of the exit, go down the hill, and that is where the Ubers pick you up. They do not pick you up in front of the station. It's an Uber-only lane the street behind it. Order your Uber on the app and if you have a problem connecting just call your Uber driver. The ride is approximately three and a half miles but there was a lot of traffic so it took about 20 minutes. And there was also traffic at the cruise entry area to the port. They had security and lots going on there. So the whole process took about one hour and 15 minutes from start to finish. So the link rail was $3 each and then the Uber drive was $21 for a total of $27. This is to the Smith Cove Pier 91 terminal. Pier 66 or 46 are a good four miles or so away. Double check to see which pier you are leaving from on your documents. Royal Caribbean leaves from 91. So this was an interesting way to get from the airport to the cruise ship terminal. It was successful. I had no problems. 
In order to do this trip, you do need to be able to manage a suitcase down a hill. So if it's heavy or you're not able-bodied and you'd rather not, then I would suggest just take an Uber or some of the other shuttles or even the cruise ship line that sometimes has a bus. So those are other options you can do. I just was trying something different to see if I could do it and it was successful. So I am happy to report that I did make it just on time. Time of day that I traveled, there were hardly any people on the actual link rail. I would imagine at rush hour, it would be difficult. As always, it's been my pleasure showing you something that can be useful for your trip to make your vacation that much easier. And also next week I will be doing a video on the debarkation and how you can store your luggage as you tour Seattle before your your trip home so that's a good something good to know if you found this video helpful enjoyable or entertaining in any way can you please hit that like button that really helps out my channel I would really appreciate that and consider subscribing I do have a playlist on the ovation of the seas and it will be up and running in a few weeks and it will be showing you all about my Alaska cruise, the places we visited and what the ovation of the seas was like. So thank you again for watching. There's two ships checking in at the same time. There's a lot of traffic so we'll be checking in now. Until next time.